would rather die. His wife Betty held impromptu 